Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into an exciting topic in Informatica IDMC that is rank transformation. So rank transformation is an active transformation in Informatica. It allows us to filter top or bottom records based on rank values that are calculated from a numeric or string fields. So that's the use of rank transformation. For example, imagine you are an HR analyst and your organization needs to know the top two employees with the highest salaries in each department to recognize high performance. So this is where the rank transformation comes in handy. So for example, I have an employee table in Oracle, right? So these are the employees em with employee ID, employee name, you know, department uh, to which the employee belongs to and the respective salaries, right? So now we wanted to fetch top two employees with the highest salaries in each department. So each department, so you can see like there are three departments again, I guess, IT, HR and finance, right? So in each department, we wanted to fetch top two employees with the highest salary. So that's our requirement. So how do we achieve it? We can use the rank transformation in IDMC to achieve this. So let's consider this Oracle table, employees table as our source data. And uh, we will actually write the uh, top two employees with the highest salary data into a flat file, right? So let's get started. So I logged in into Informatica IDMC and selected data integration service here and created a mapping. Right. So this is my mapping. So let's configure the source first. So I wanted to configure the source. My source is source table is present in Oracle. So the table name is employees. So source has the data and we wanted to get the top two employees. Right. So for that, we'll be selecting rank transformation. So these are the incoming fields uh, we are getting from the source, right? So now click on rank. So you see some properties for the rank transformation, rank by. So on what column we wanted to rank, right? So we wanted to rank by salary. All right. So and rank order. So we wanted the top, like highest salary, right? So we have two options, top and bottom. So we wanted the highest salaries. So we will select the rank order as top. And number of records. So how many records? Like we wanted to get the top two records, like right? top two employees. So that is what we need to provide here. So this will be the configuration and group by like uh, how, how we wanted to group by uh, like uh, we have departments, right? Different departments. So each department we wanted to fetch the top two employees. So we need to group by department here. This will be our rank transformation configuration. Very simple. And then we wanted to move this uh, data into target. right? So this will be the incoming fields. And you can see uh, extra field here, rank index. So this is this will be the rank index will be based on the salary group by department. So that will be the new, new field that we get it from the rank transformation. So let's also write this index into the target so that we can view its data. right? So target will be the flat file. So local flat file. I'm going to create a new at runtime where we'll call that as top employees. Or you can even name it as top two employees, right? So it's a new one. So we'll not be having target fields and we don't need to map the fields, right? So we can validate the mapping. It says valid. Just save it and run the mapping. Yeah, just select the runtime environment. As uh, you can select your secure agent and just make sure uh, your secure agent is up and running. And that's it. Just click on run. And you can monitor the job in my jobs. Job is cured. It takes a few seconds to complete the job. Yeah, it's success. You can see the rows process six, right? So we have 
like 20 source records and the target records is six. So we had like three departments and we wanted a top two employees for each department, right? So we had six records in the target. So let's check the target. So you can see top two employees here, right? So let's open this target. So we should be seeing six records here, like uh, each department, two employees with the highest salary, right? So this is how like, uh, you know, we can actually use the rank transformation, right? So you can see this is the target. Rank index is also there, see, one to employee ID, and we can see the six records here department wise like finance department has the these two employees holds the highest salary within finance department hr and it right so the rank index as well so this is how we actually we can use the rank transformation to fetch the top employees right so in the same way we can use bottom as well say for example uh, you are working on some sales right and uh, uh, you know, or the product wise information and you wanted to, you're interested to know what are all the uh, top three products which are uh, uh, not doing well, right? So in that case, you can actually uh, select the bottom, bot, uh, you know, bottom order and uh, get the details of the products which are not doing well, right? So that's how you can use the rank transformation. So you can even validate this uh, data, right? Like say, for example, we have select star from employees, right? So we can order by, you know, department and salary descending. You can you even use the uh, rank partition or by function so that you can have the exact comparison, but just for simplicity, I have written like this. So you can see finance, right? 89, uh, 88. So you can just compare it 89, 88 like that. HR 8180, 81080, IT 95092, like this, right? Yeah, so this is how, uh, you know, uh, rank transformation will be handy. You may be asking like, uh, uh, I, uh, we can achieve this uh, using multiple transformations as well uh, in Informatica IDMC, but again, like it's a complex process uh, to use uh, multiple transformations to achieve this, right? So we already have the rank transformation to achieve it, like in a single step, uh, you know, by ranking the records and uh, as well as the, the filtering it, right? So it's always a best choice to have uh, rank transformation when we wanted to fetch top N employees or top or bottom uh, N records in the source, uh, right? So that's how we can use rank transformation to extract rank data, like based on some specific criteria, right? So this method is widely applicable in business areas like uh, we discussed, right? So uh, product analysis, sales analysis, employee performance, we have seen now and many more, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you in the next tutorial.